<laughs> do you think that women are influenced by the other women that they hang around? Like, do you think that, because I often find myself saying that people aren't as strong mentally as we give them credit for. Mm -hmm. And so I always, a lot of times advise a lot of married women or certain type of women to hang around other married women or whatever like that. Right. But mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we got our friends since forever and whatever we worked with some and we met some in high school and they just been our lifetime friend. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you think that people are ultimately the culmination of the people that they surround themselves with the most specifically women? Do you think that women are influenced by what their friends are saying and doing? I think women who may not be as mentally stable are, um, I think it depends on the individual woman. I hate to be gray like that, but I think it, I think it varies because there are some people that I may have been friends with for years and they move a certain way or do just practice something different spiritually or believe in, you know, I don't know, different things that I don't. And just because they do it, I'm not necessarily influenced, but it's just because I'm a, a bit more grounded in what I believe. So someone who was a bit more fluid, mm -hmm. that would probably, you know, be a bit more per persuaded. Some, one of the uh, people in the audience got a question. I'm about to put it up on the thing. Should men ask what's your body account? What do you think about that? I think they can ask, but I think women, if you have a high body count, don't tell them, girl. <laughs> uh, all you right, gotta so slice that number in half, girlfriend. I got <laughs> a, I got a better question, a follow-up <laughs> question. Do all women lie when it comes to their number? Yes. All women lie when it comes to their number? Absolutely. Wow, this I is the so. Chris that I know. I Let me think get, so. yeah. Hey, Ro, get some drinks up in Chris so we can, <laughs> so we can get this Chris. <laughs> that, yeah. Wow. Yeah, they absolutely, especially women who, you know, have some counts. I'm going to say some counts. They, uh, yeah, they, and I, I, I don't know if they should be completely honest about that. I don't know if, I don't know how, not that I'm advocating being a, a liar. But, you know, it's, it's some things that you should not expose, I think. You, you shouldn't know? expose? No. I don't what think if she was, What if she was really for the streets, though? And she just a reformed streets. She's a reformed pavement walker. I don't, don't think count. she should tell. I don't think she should tell. So how did, <laughs> no. how did, how did she answer that? Did how she give would? a number or do she say, you know what? I just don't really want to talk about it. I mean, if she say, I really don't want to talk about it, she's giving the answer up. If a, if a woman tell a man, <laughs> I don't want to talk but about I mean, it, you going to be, be like, oh, oh, oh. Range though, Chris. you know, I would say she should just slice that number in half. And hopefully that's still not a high number. Oh, man. What if it was 50 and now she got 25? Go down. Go lower. <laughs> <laughs> Go lower. <laughs> what's an ex what's the what's the an acceptable number? I think it depends on a woman's age. That's true. Because okay, if so she's what if a she, more mature woman, she's, she's gonna 30. Have, what if, if she's, she's 30? 30, she should not say more than five or ten. Mm. Mm. Ten, ten. Ten is high. <sighs> Mm, <laughs> for a that's, a lot. You know, that's assuming you started you know having sex around 18 or 20 or 18 or 19 that's about a, a man a year one man a year or something like so that should we just by default double it like in our mind you should make you should you should probably tack on a few more counts uh, yeah. oh man that would just hurt my heart. <laughs> that would hurt my heart. Especially if she's older, you know. I, I mean, those of us that got married younger, it's different. But women are on the market a little bit longer now. And so they've had more experience. They've had more counts. So mm. just factor that in. Let me ask you another question before I get back to our conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Miss Mr. Weeks, the senior. Okay. My father-in-law, y'all. Was he thinking about me after I left? Is he gonna admit it? 
don't think so. <laughs> I told him. I listen. I told him. I said, you know what? I <laughs> did he tell you what I told him? No. I told him. I said. Uh, I said I like you. I said we need more men like you. I said, but at the same time. I want you to understand that when we leave this conversation and you go home tonight, you're going to think about me. I, I, told, him, I, I, I told him he was going to think about me. I said I he's going to remember he's me. He's probably never met um, anyone as interesting as you. I say that. I told him he was going <laughs> to think about me. I said, you're going to think about me. He said, I'm not I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to. I said, yes, you are. And I said, I said, you know what the problem is, right? He said, what? I said, um. You used to be in the, the most alpha in the room until you met me. Oh, <laughs> you said that? Yeah, I told him. I said, I said, but I do like you. I said, I appreciate you. I respect you. I said, but you know, I, I'm, a di I'm different. I'm different. But yeah. I like him. I think he was dope. It was a good conversation. You guys, Anton caught you. Anton never a dull moment when Anton is in the building. Never. <laughs> he dope, but he dope. I mean, he's smooth. He had the he had the salt and pepper. He you know real cool. Yeah, he yeah, was so cool. like he got some swagger. <laughs> he had the watch on and everything. He was dope. Yeah. I got a lot of respect. You know, I got a lot of respect for um for dope guys. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah, he was real cool. And I can tell that he was a a tougher. I'm not gonna say tough. That's that's not the right word. I can tell that he was a man of character when raising his children. And obviously absolutely. it's translated in a row. So that's absolutely, absolutely dope. Yeah, that's, that's very true. Yep. What um, do you consider yourself to be similarly aligned to your friends, your female friends? Um, <clears throat> I think our core values are the same spiritually. I think that what we believe in are are the same. Now it's it's kind of like this. We agree, we agree, we agree, we agree. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like that type of thing. And so that's why I say we agree to disagree. It's good to have good girlfriends where you can have dialogue, agree to disagree, that type of thing. But we, the core principles of who we are and what we believe are the same. But then we have, when we drift off, then we drift off Do you after consider a while. my mom different though? Different from the rest of my friends or? Yeah. I mean, just like in how she think and how she move. Uh, yeah. Honestly, like real talk. Yeah, she is because she's she's a traditional woman, and not all of my friends are traditional. So she's you got she's, some modern thinking friends. Yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. Well, my mom <clears throat> is different. Are. I was surprised when y'all told me that story yesterday about my dad making uh making one of your friends cry. Yeah, he did, and it was it was like kind of sad. I thought sad. it was great that he did it. It was sad because that was like her last encounter with him, you know, before his transition, and so yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of a sad him. thing to talk about. But he was right. Um, I mean, ultimately, and right. how that situation panned out, but so is it know. more important? Is it more important to be to be truthful and right? Or, or should we take more consideration into how people feel, in your honest Ooh. opinion? Uh, that's a good question because I struggle with that because I try to be politically correct and still, you know, be a sharpshooter. So I teeter. But I think the tr it's always good to be truthful, you know, and that may sting a little bit. You know, it may not feel good. But I've, I've had my girlfriends tell me things like, you know, you really, ugh, I really didn't like when you said that and it bothered me. But I went home and thought about it and I was like, you know what, she right. Mm -hmm. You know, and so, and so at the end of the day, as long as you know it's coming from a place of love, that person is not intentionally trying to hurt you. They're just really trying to give you the truth in love. I think that's, and always say consider the source. You know, Anton's father said mm -hmm. he was never a malicious man. So he's never going. He was never going to come from a malicious or, or mad, you know place. Yeah, he's always he was, he's always coming from a place of love. So from that perspective, I don't consider myself malicious, but me and him were were different, and that yeah. our our methods are complete opposite. He he believed in yeah. care. I believe yeah. in suffering. <laughs> <laughs> you like oh, rip the bandaid off, just rip it off. I don't don't let my all on that wound. <laughs> yeah, I used to get on him too, though. I used to be on him. I used to be like, man, why are you playing games? Like, like not playing games. Like when he deal with people, I'd be like, yo, you need to just just punch him in the 
in the stomach and then you know what I'm saying? Let no, him cough that he up. He was not, he was just a good man. 